How's it going everybody? I've got a match here uh, on PTCGO. I'm using uh, Eel Zone and uh, I'm facing a deck uh, using Durant and the, what they're trying to do is basically mill me out uh, because one of the win conditions is if you run out of cards you lose a game and the deck I'm using relies on Electric. Uh, his ability Dynamotor lets me put energies from my discard pile and attach them to Pokemon I have on the bench. And uh, so I use that with Magnezone, which Magnezone lets you Lost Zone uh, energy from your... Like, as many energies you want in play to do 50 times the amount of energy you, you remove. And Magnezone just has really good draw power because Magnetic draw lets you draw until you have 6. So he starts out and he already gets a, a Durant out with a Rescue energy. He's got a Kobolion, which is a pretty big threat because a lot of the times... Uh, when people play against Durant, they focus on setting up one attacker. So the point of using Kobolion is that, that they can essentially uh, kill that one uh, attacker you set up with Kobolion, and, and then you're stuck. Um, so he goes for a collector, grabs two Durants. It's clear that one of them is prized, or else he would have grabbed another one. And I just go for the Sage's Training because I don't really have much else to do. I don't really feel like ending because then that's going to give him more cards. I get a Thunderous, and I decide to go for the charge because if all goes right next turn I can start using uh, Disaster Bolts, which should be able to KO the Durants. Um, at the time I don't think EB Light worked, so I could rest, be rest assured that uh, I can one hit KO his Durants no problem, unless he runs Defender, which I kind of doubt. He gets Crushing Hammer off, but so that sets me back pretty pretty far. He gets another crushing hammer, gets another heads, he's running hot like fire and now I have no energy on board and I'm kinda screwed. Um, so at this point I'm hoping that I can just go for the collector uh, try and set up some eels and a Zekrom. The reason why I use Zekrom is if I could set up a Zekrom I could just keep bolt strike, I could bolt strike twice and then just keep outraging until I grab all six prizes assuming his Kobolion doesn't come in the way so that's something I need to watch out for. Also, um, Thunderous might not be too bad to keep around because uh, if he doesn't set up a defender or whatever, I can still one-shot them with Disaster Bolt. So I just eek away my hand because it was pretty bad. And now my new hand is pretty strong. I can set up an eel. Uh, I've got an energy. I've got another Thunderous, which is handy against his deck. And I can end for a totally new hand, which is great. Uh, also, I don't advise setting up Magnezone for this particular matchup. If anything, it's going to hold you back. It's got high retreat. Eel, uh, Eel already has two retreat, which is pretty bad for this deck because they run catchers and you don't want to get stuck. Um, so at this point, I just decided to set up a Thunderous, and I think I'm just going to try and set up my second Eel, hoping I get it off this uh, end. I get a PCOM. So I'm going to use the communication to swap out my Magneton, I guess. It didn't really matter which one I chose there to get the second eel. So at this point, I'm pretty close to being set up. Uh, but right now, I can't theoretically attack the Durant yet. So I just attach an energy to the Zekrom and just charge. I've luckily got a switch in hand, so if he tries to capture my eel, I'll be able to switch out and hopefully attack next turn. I've also got a Junk Arm. Uh, he finally gets Tails like Crushing Hammer. But then he has another one. I look at his discard pile. This guy runs four crushing hammers. And he's gone three for four. In my testing with Durant, I've gone one for ten. So uh, this guy is pretty lucky. But at this point, I'm pretty close to being set up. At this point, I have a fully charged Zekrom. I'm going to attach an energy to Electric. And then hard attach one to, to the Electric on my bench. That way, if he tries to catch up the Electric and I, for whatever reason don't have my switch anymore, I'll still have an out. And making sure you have energy on your eels on the bench is pretty important because if it, he can grab up an eel and you can't retreat, that's more turns that they can uh, devour your deck. And that is something you do not want. So right now things are looking pretty good. I notice he's charging up the Cobalion on the bench. So uh, I think at this point I want to try and capture it out. Especially since it has no special metal energies attached, that means Zekrom can one shadow with a Bolt Strike. That's pretty key. He actually discards one of my catchers, which is even better, because now I can just discard the Magnezone and the Pecom, because I don't need either one of those cards. And I'm just going to catch her. Well, first I'm going to attach more energies to my eels on the bench. This way, for sure, 
if he just catches up an eel, I can just retreat. As uh, simple as that. I go for the bolt strike, take it out, and that's a huge threat out of the way. At this point, I could pretty safely just uh, outrage the rest of his uh, Durants, assuming there's no other crazy stuff that goes on him. And um, at this point, I'm feeling good. Uh, I don't know why that popped up, but uh, so he gets he gets his Cobalion back, and now that's that kind of worries me a little bit. But he's not going to be able to get a uh, energy on that thing quickly enough in my opinion so at this point all he can really do is try to disrupt me more uh, but even if he catches up a thunderous I've got an energy to retreat I've got a switch and I am sitting really well right now um, I see most people approach this matchup by using Magnezone and that's why most of them end up losing they just go straight away with the Magnezone uh, they l lost burn and use up the resources to try and beat Durant and then they end up losing in the end. But if you just go aggro, Zekrom, and Thunderous, then assuming you use your resources properly, this should be an easy match for you. So I go ahead and just put energies on my Thunderous just in case and outrage and right now I'm feeling pretty good. If he catches anything up, I can retreat it away no problem. I've got a fully sure Zekrom, he's got a Cobalion with no energy so that's not a threat and all he's got is three Durants on the board and I still have a decent chunk of my deck left. He goes for the junk arm. Not sure what he can grab in this situation. Maybe he can grab Crushing Hammer, which is what I probably would have done. But he grabs Catcher, and that doesn't really do much to me because I've got energy on all my guys on the field. So I don't understand that play at all. But maybe he's not going to play and he just wants to hold it. Uh, I think he takes a little while to decide what he's going to do. But he decides to catch her up my Thunderous, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. That's like the last guy I would catch her up first off, and second off, I've got an energy so I can just retreat it, and then bring out Zekrom, and then dynamo to the energy back. So that was a waste of resources on his half, but I'm starting to have a feeling that he feels like he can't win here, and honestly, I don't feel like there's any way I can lose at this point. Uh, I've got a fully set up board uh, with, with energy on all my guys, uh, Zekrom that can consistently do 100 because of Outrage, and he goes for Twins. Uh, not sure what he could really grab here. Um, maybe two crushing hammers, and he can try and remove two energy off my active Zekrom. That way, I've got to get rid of a little more resources to hopefully and try, hopefully try to set that up again. But uh, looking at my hand, you know I have the switch and the junk arm, so that's not going to affect me anyway. Uh, he gets a special medal, and um, he goes for the junk arm again, but. I don't, I don't know why he would do that, honestly. Um, he grabs Catcher, which also throws me for... throws me off, because he catches up Thunderous again, and I, he should realize that I kind of have um, an energy on it so I can retreat easily. If anything, I would have revived... Uh, never mind, he prized his... Uh, Durant, but I'm not really sure why he wasn't using Rotom to try and get it out. Uh, honestly, if he would have gotten four Durants out, I might have been in trouble. But because he didn't bother to use Rotom at all to switch his prizes, uh, I still got a decent amount of cards left in my deck. I actually think I hit I was was pretty close. Like I was down to like six cards or something. So if he had would have had four Durants out, this might have been a closer game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a consistent upload schedule where I'll upload a certain amount of PTCGO a week. Uh, I don't want to do like every day because that's too much, and I don't want to do like once a week, so maybe I'll figure out some middle ground. Tell me uh, what kind of upload schedule you, you'd like to see personally. Also, if you haven't seen the update video where I describe what kind of content is coming onto the channel, uh, click that. Uh, that's right there in the corner. Uh, subscribe to us if you have not. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I post on the Facebook quite frequently, but not the Twitter as much, but hopefully I'll, that'll change. And uh, see you guys later, and have a great holiday.